Hi, my name is Andrew Salmon. I'm a Senior Vice President with EFL Associates, which is the Retained Executive Search Arm of CBiz. Today we're going to talk a little bit about executive recruitment in the not-for-profit arena. When you start an executive search, one of the first things that the board will have to decide is who will be primarily responsible for it. Um, so, oftentimes they'll create a search committee. Sometimes that's the executive committee. Oftentimes it also has um, external stakeholders. You want to determine if you're going to use any search partners. That could include a search firm like EFL Associates. It could also include an internal HR department. What most clients are most interested in is how do you actually generate candidates in, uh, in the CEO position for a not-for-profit? And you do this in a variety of ways. First and foremost, uh, networking is a great way to generate candidates. Um, a lot of organizations will use the post and pray method, meaning they post it on, a, on an internet site and just see what kind of resumes they get back. Um, although that is one way to do a search, we of course recommend that you try and find those people that will help lead the organization into the future based on where you want your organization to go. We always think it's incredibly important for any position, but particularly the CEO of a not-for-profit organization, to go through a significant amount of due diligence. Um, that would include a full background investigation and reference checking. Oftentimes, that is the part that is ignored in an executive search for not-for-profits, but we like to check both what we call front door references, those that are provided by the candidate, and also the back door references, um, those individuals who we know have some familiarity with that candidate, but perhaps was not listed on the reference list for one reason or another. Um, the other thing that several of our clients have started doing is is conducting some sort of um, pre-employment assessment that really digs into the behavioral characteristics, the, um, the internal functions of a potential CEO. So that's all part of our due diligence process as well. What's most important about a, a president and CEO search is, is really as an organization determining where you want to go. Um, that's the most important step in, in determining who will eventually lead you there. Thanks so much for your time and hopefully we'll be 